Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a project share. It's been so long since I've done one of those and I don't exactly know why I got out of the habit. I think it's just because I get busy and I'm always in a hurry, so I never take the time to shoot a video, but I have to share this video today. This is a handmade journal that I made. It's the first one that I ever made and I'm so excited about it. I have wanted to make a handmade junk journal for a very long time, over a year for sure. I've had books in my bookcase that I have plans for for myself that mean something to me and I've always wanted to do it. My mom is a big junk journal fan and she made me one for Christmas and ever since she made me that one, I've been thinking, okay, I'm going to do this. This is a journal that I made for one of my very best friends. She and I have been friends for 30 years. Since we were 10, we've known each other, and we're going on 30 years this year because it's big 4-0 for both of us. So, she is also a very crafty person. I have shared some of her projects on my channel before because she sent me friend mail, and she's just awesome. It was her birthday, and I told her, hey, I'm gonna make you a journal. She's like, okay. <laughs> so this is it. This is the journal that I made. Here on the front, I have a closure with this little pen holder that I made. This is elastic that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I just thought it gave it a little bit of extra security to close it. I thought about putting a hook on it, but I'm not that advanced yet. We'll see what happens <laughs> as I go along. This beautiful paper I just recently picked up at Joann's and I love it along with that paper. Heather's favorite colors are like a blue and a gray, so I tried to use a majority of blue and gray throughout the journal. And I also know that she's going to be using it as a prayer journal, so I tried to leave a lot of journaling space for her. Those were my two goals. So this is a book that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and I used it because I love the blue color poking through. These are both ribbons that I picked up. Well, this gray one and this burlap ribbon I picked up out of the scrapbooking section at Hobby Lobby. And this is some vintage trim that I just already had in my stash. You can see here that I've used two signatures in the book and I used some Tim Holtz corners here on the edges. I also made a couple bookmarks, one in each signature. I kind of did them long enough to where if she set it up like this, they wouldn't get in the way. So I'm not sure how she'll feel about those. Heather, feel free to cut those off if you don't like them. But here I just used a cross charm that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, some beads from my stash. That heart charm I know originally, or heart bead, originally came from Tuesday morning. I found it a few months ago. Okay, so... On the inside, I just added an envelope here with some of that pretty bird paper. Then I just used bits and pieces of paper. I didn't use a certain paper stack. I used a lot of scraps that I had and then some that I knew she would like. So here on the front, I added some cheesecloth back behind this paper. I did a lot of stitching with my sewing machine on here as well. So then her name is Heather Joy, so I put that in there. And then this little crown stamp is just something I had in my stash too. All of these papers in this book are coffee dyed. So here I made a pocket out of this and I used some old Bible paper that I had. I know a lot of people are probably cringing at the fact that I cut a Bible, but you know what? I have a lot of Bibles. This isn't the one that I read on a regular basis. And because this is a prayer journal, I think it's okay. People color in their Bible, and I think it's okay if I add scripture to her prayer journal, which is kind of what I'm doing. I'm using scripture from Philippians 3, which is about joy. So it's like it's actually here so she can read it. That's my thought with it. I'm not just, you know, cutting up and trashing the Bible or anything. It has a purpose. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out before anyone cringes. These stamps, all of the scripture stamps that I use throughout the journal are from the new Bible journaling line at Michael's. I love those. So then here, this tag... I added some lines. A lot of junk journalers like to use 
cardboard box to make lines. So that's what I did here. I played around with that. And I decoupaged a napkin that I picked up a Tuesday morning. Heather really likes birds, so I added that there. And then here, this is just a really pretty piece of paper, and I figure she can journal over the top of that just fine. Okay, so here on this page, I actually made an impression when I was drying my paper in the oven with an old milk bottle that I have. This milk company was in Niles and Dwajak, which is the area that we grew up in as kids. So that's pretty special to us, Niles, Michigan. That is our hometown. So I really wanted to try to make an impression of that. And then I just used some brown ink to try to pick up some of the prints. And I just really love that. I hope that she does too. I know it'll make her smile. So then I just used some stamps that I had on hand. I've had them for years. And I've made some cards out of cardstock that I used some gold ink with some stamping on a few of them so she can just write over it. And then here I made this tuck spot with a little piece of vintage lace that I had and then just some ephemera from out of a paper stack. I actually used an elderflower tea that I had the flowers to make this yellow tea dyed paper. I really like that. And then I've added a couple journaling cards throughout as well. This is just an extra journaling spot here. Here I've sewn a pocket onto the paper and I've added another little journaling spot that she can write on. This paper I dried on top of a muffin pan that I had that's heart shaped. So I really like that. And then I've just added a few tags throughout with some fabric that I had. This is a glassing bag. And I've just added a piece of a cut apart, real life, <laughs> and a handmade card there at the top. Okay, so then like I said, I've just left a lot of spots for her to write. I made a few pockets with some extra papers and note cards. Here I stamped on that one. And a piece of ephemera. So then here's the center of the signature. And I just realized I haven't put little hearts on there yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm going to do that. But there's gonna be little dangly hearts there. And then I have just some scrap paper in here. Couple more cards. Here I've used a doily from Michael's to just be a little tuck spot. And another card. Another piece of that glassing bag here. Here I've just added a clip with a little bag and an index card. I've tied some lace and ribbon too. Here's the other half of that pocket that she can put things in. Another pocket another tuck spot and here I've used a vintage handkerchief that I had. Love the colors and some ephemera and a journaling card. And I love the way that lace dangles off there. That's probably my favorite part of the whole book. One of them anyway. And here's another napkin that I used and another piece of scripture that I like, that I added there for her to read. It's just a little flip out that she can write on. Like I said, her name's Heather, so that's the Heather flower plant. I thought that was a cool thing. That was in the dictionary that I have. Another glass in bag. This was a piece of an old vintage curtain, and I really like the edge on there. And this, I made a little belly band. I dyed one of those envelopes, and then in here, I just made 
a piece of stationery with a Julie Nutting doll that she can write on. Pretty piece of paper. Another journaling spot and I figure she can write on that paper as well. And there's a note card tucked in here. Another tuck spot with vintage lace. A card that I made and like I said her middle name is Joy so I put that card there. Here's another pocket. Some pretty paper. Here's another doily. And then just some cards. Another tuck spot. And here I just made this little tuck spot and they coffee dyed this envelope and there's just a card in here that she can journal on. There's another pocket and I just put this piece of ephemera in there. Faith changes everything with another card she can write on. Just stick things up in there. Here's another tuck spot I made with another vintage handkerchief. And I added a piece of lace over that. And then a decoupage napkin tag. Then here's the center of the second signature that I've coffee dyed some paper. Another tag with another napkin. The tuck spot. Here, another pocket. And here I just clipped a coffee dyed bag with the index card again. Another pocket. Then here I just added this piece of plastic. I like the little quotes on it. You can't read them all together, but they're pretty much things we already know. Tell your story. Delight in the little things. Fresh start. Live adventurously. Grow where you're planted, made with love. Anyway, I like that, so I just slipped that in here. And here's another pocket with some journaling cards. A tuck spot. And then here is pretty much, I think, the last page. And then here in the back, I just added this spot she could write something in if she wanted. I stamped Made with Love on a doily and then I'm probably going to sign it. And then here she could write here if she wants to as well. So that is my very first journal and I have to say that I am in love with it. It's really hard for me to part with this after so much love has gone into it. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!